Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome on board. You should definitely hit subscribe and the notification bell before we go any further. And if this is not your first time on the channel, welcome back. For today's video, I've been lucky enough to receive some copies of the Egyptian God Structure Decks. That is Egyptian God Deck Obelisk the Tormentor and Egyptian God Deck Slife of the Sky Dragon. That's right, Konami sent some of these over for me, and we're going to be doing a giveaway on this very video today. And on top of that, we're going to be opening a box of each, so you can see exactly what's inside, exactly what you're in for if you win on today's giveaway. Now we'll get into the details shortly about how you can get involved in the giveaway on the channel. We'll get to all of that information a little bit further down the line. Now each of these structured decks contains 40 cards, and there are even some new ones that are debuting into the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. And if you wanted to get your hands on copies of these, these structure decks are out now. You can head on over to your local store or wherever it is that you get your Yu-Gi-Oh! products and go ahead and buy yourself some copies of both of these decks. But anyway, I'm going to stop waffling on and I'm going to get stuck into the openings. So as promised for today's video, we are taking a look at Egyptian God Deck's Life of the Sky Dragon and Egyptian God Deck Obelisk the Tormentor. We're going to go ahead and crack these boxes open for you just as soon as we can, and we'll get into all those details about that giveaway in just a moment. So for those of you who are primarily here for the product opening, we'll get stuck right into it now. So we'll start off with Egyptian God Deck Slife of the Sky Dragon. So aside from the fact that this is absolutely insane box art, along with Egyptian God Deck Obelisk the Tormentor, the Slife of the Sky Dragon version, of course has some really cool cards in here, including the Egyptian God card Slife of the Sky Dragon itself. Now I remember being a kid and trying to play with these cards, we had the ones without the actual text on, and they were all very mysterious and we used to copy all the effects out of the anime, you know, when we were playing on the school ground and that kind of thing. It's really cool that we now have structure decks based around these Egyptian God cards. Now, as a personal note, my favourite was always Obelisk the Tormentor. I'd be interested to hear what you guys liked as your favourite one as well. And that's exactly how you can get involved in the giveaway. Drop me a comment down below about which of the Egyptian God cards is your favourite. And with Obelisk being my favourite in mind, of course, we've got Kaiba here, our main man when it comes to controlling Obelisk the Tormentor. But I digress, let's get stuck right in to these packs. So, here's the contents on the back if you guys do want to have a look at that properly. Of course, you can pause the video and take a look there. We've got some really cool flavour text, as you can imagine, as always with these things. And at the top, Sly for the Sky Dragon. Reveal yourself, my all-powerful beast. Let's get stuck right in. So we've got our playmats that come with these as standard. Uh, this is really cool if you're someone that doesn't have one of these. Of course, it enables you to play with having your zones available to you and all of that good stuff. We've got both of the gods on here from the Structured X. Obelisk on one side and Slifer on the other. Again, apologies, I can't zoom out quite far enough for this one, but you get the point. And on the back, we've got some tips about how you can play the deck, things that you can do, cards that you can consider adding to this to make your tactics even more viable. But the part you're really here for, of course, is the cards. So let's get stuck into opening this pack for you. So on the back here, we've got a beginner's guide that we can go ahead and use if we want to take advantage of that. And of course, on the front, we have Slifer himself. Like the one skill I never seem to have picked up from all the years of playing this game is actually opening these packets, believe it or not. Despite how many I do actually open, it's incredible that I still haven't got this pinned down. So there we have it, Slife of the Sky Dragon, of course. Nice, looking absolutely awesome. You can read the effect down there. If you're not familiar with the actual effect of the card rather than all of the anime ones, this is exactly what you can see here. Absolutely beautiful card, still always looks amazing. We've got the nice new Soul Crossing here that we can go ahead and take a look at. Another one of our Ultra Rares from this deck. Thunder Force Attack, another really cool card that you can use for your strategy. Millennium Seeker keeping in with the whole theme of the deck. A nice Egyptian looking card. Really, really cool stuff. Of course, you can read the effect down there if you so wish. Ultimate Divine Beast, another card to enhance your strategy. Tell us the Little Angel. Reactor Slime. Harpy's Feather Duster Reprint. Absolutely fantastic for those of you who are interested in staples for the competitive game. A really important card in that. And of course, regardless of whether you're playing competitive or casually, Harpy's Feather Duster is always a fantastic card to have available in your strategies. Break of the Magical Warrior. Another classic throwback. One of my all-time favourite cards. Used to absolutely love this. 
Beast King Barbaros, absolutely insanely powerful. Now, most of these cards you'll notice as we go through are geared towards getting you multiple cards on field so that you can easier summon your Egyptian God cards. So we've got Phantom Sky Blast, another example of that. We've got Card Guard to help us get defended. Caligo Claw, Crow, another card that we can just easily special summon. Electromagnetic Turtle to keep us in the game for a little bit longer. One of these cards that I used to love using in my Light Sworn strategies over the years. Break of the Dark Magical Warrior, just a nice powerful monster. Skate Ghost again, just giving us more options to get cards onto the field. Arima the Wicked Warden. We've got three copies of that, nice and ready to go. Duke Shade the Sinister Shadow Lord. Clock Wyvern. Ten Ye Spirit Vashuda, a really, really powerful card that again has seen some competitive play. Swords of Revealing Light, another classic from the anime series to keep your opponent locked out from being able to attack you. Monster Reborn, one of the most powerful spell cards we've seen in the game. Everybody knows this classic card. Book of Moon, another fantastic card that we recently saw get an ultimate rare reprint in the OTS packs. Enemy Control, another fantastic defensive card or offensive card, depending on which way you use it. Pot of Avarice, a great way to recycle your monsters and draw deeper into your deck. March of the Monarchs, helping you be protected when your monsters are tribute summoned. Supply Squad, another way to just dig a little bit deeper into your deck. Card Advance, helping you rig the top of your deck and of course, easier get out your big and powerful monsters. We've got the True Name, One Time Passcode. Lair of Darkness, a fantastic reprint here. Draw of Fate. Mirror Force, again another classic bastion of the competitive game. Mirror Force, one of the all-time powerful cards, and of course, a fantastic classic card in the game. Reckless Greed to help us just dig deeper. Metal Reflect Slime. The Golden Apples. Back to the front. And some additional bits, including a nice preview card for King's Court. So that is our Sly for the Sky Dragon themed structure deck covered first. Let's move on to Obelisk the Tormentor. Now it is worth noting when looking at these that some of the cards do cross over between the two decks. And if you do get both of them, you do have cards that work very well in unison and together. The Postal Service did a fantastic job of uh, bringing me these boxes and absolutely battered them along the way. So apologies about that. So let's go ahead and read here. Obelista Tormenta, arise and wreak your ultimate revenge. Let's dig it out. So the game map will be identical, I imagine, based on what I'm seeing here. Let's get that out of there. Again, I'm not very good at opening these boxes, as you very well know. So again, we've got our Egyptian God deck. Scan here to learn the basics about the deck. That's a really, really cool handy addition. And of course, we've seen that on the Slife of the Sky Dragon deck as well. And of course, the fantastic Obelisk, the Tormentor, what we're here for. Again, my personal favourite, which is really, really exciting to see this. Again, with the proper printed text, so we can actually use this in a duel, which we couldn't do with the old ones, of course, because we didn't know what they did. They were kind of just cool, promotional, keep hold cards for the sake of our collections. If I can uh, find a better way to phrase that, I'll certainly try. But there we go. Obelisk, the Tormentor, a big beefy boy. Absolutely love him. Look, he's just absolutely stacked. Look at them guns. Look at them massive chest muscles. He's just ready to absolutely pommel our opponents. 4,000 attack, 4,000 defense. They don't get much bigger than this. So let's go ahead and open these up. I got that first time. That's incredible. That feels really good. We'll get a nice close-up of Obelisk himself so that you can see that in a bit more detail there. Looking absolutely awesome as we'd expect. So we've got a copy of Soul Cross in here, much like the other structure deck. We've got Fist of Fate, just Obelisk absolutely pummeling down to the ground there. Divine Evolution. Level Resist Wall. Angel Zero One. Oh, a nice hollow reprint of Mermaid. This is really, really cool. This is a card that I used to take advantage of in many of my competitive strategies. Used to love absolutely getting this out with uh, with Yazzie. You'd make it with Destrudo. You'd get this out and then you could go into Borosword Sword very, very easily. A very powerful card that can summon a lot of tokens in quick succession. 
Harpy's Feather Duster, of course, still a fantastic card to have access to. Nimble Momonga, Bazoo the Soul Eater, another classic card that can just get really beefy really quick. Cyber Dragon, an absolute meta warping card when this came out, absolutely changed the way the game was played. Another copy, or oh, two in fact, of Nimble Momonga. Hardened Arm Dragon. Super Nimble Mega Hamster. I just got a hamster myself, although he doesn't look quite this cool. He's a little bit boring, actually, although watching him climb all over the cage is kind of nice. Evil Swarm Mandragora. Photon Saber Tiger. We've got two copies of those. Evil Swarm Salamandra. Another beat stick of a monster. We've got triple copies of Ra's Disciple to just help us cheer out those Egyptian god cards. Unmasked Dragon. Nimble Beaver, Condemn Witch, another really cool reprint in here. This can search your forbidden cards, which is obviously an incredibly powerful effect. Gizmek Uka, a really nice reprint here. And Gizmek Mikami, two Gizmeks. Gizmeks, absolutely wonderful cards. Really good to see these get in a reprint. Brain Control, another classic card. Monster Reborn, of course, more of the same. Different Dimension Capsule, Pot of Avarice, double summons so that we can do multiple summons, of course. Really nice card. Forbidden Chalice, incredibly strong. Much the same for Forbidden Lance and Forbidden Dress. Supply Squad, Demonic Stormforce, so we can use our opponent's monsters to our own advantage. Call of the Haunted to easy get monsters back out. Much the same with Cloning and Drowning Mirror Force, another card that's incredibly powerful. So if you've liked seeing these get opened and you want a chance to get hold of these for free in the giveaway, all you have to do is comment down below what your favourite Egyptian God card is. I have to give away two copies of Egyptian God deck Obelisk the Tormentor and two copies of Egyptian God deck Sly for the Sky Dragon. I'm going to select two winners and you'll receive one of each copy of these structure decks. So remember, leave your comment down below about which is your favourite Egyptian God card. And over the next couple of weeks, I'll be contacting winners of this giveaway. Once again, a huge thank you to Konami for supplying these to me. And if you can't wait to get your hands on these structured X, of course, you can get these at your favourite retailers. Thanks again for coming along. Do make sure you've hit subscribe and I will see you in the next one.